the e-commerce dream for a lot of people is to be able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month by just selling one product. And everybody's trying to get lucky by just finding that one product. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a one product store that's doing anywhere from 300 to 500K a month. This is an estimate. And it's a really interesting product that I've never seen before. It's a little bit silly, but it's gaining a ton of notoriety. So it's really worth studying. We're gonna go over their ads. We're gonna go over some of their social media strategy and more. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So as you see here, I got this YouTube channel pulled up called Animal House Fitness. And what these guys are, are actually a e-commerce product, but they've built a pretty solid media brand out of it, which is super cool. They sell this monkey feet trainer thing for your feet. <laughs> so basically you put it on your feet and it allows you to lift dumbbells, which obviously you usually can't do with your feet unless you have a monkey foot with, you know, thumbs on your feet. Um, I'm guessing most of you don't. So this product is great if you're trying to do some leg exercises with some free weights. Now, apparently they got Joe Rogan talking about this um, and they're doing quite well now. So they do sell some weights as well now. But again, this is the main product. So let's look at the landing page because this is really why this is a one product store. As you see, it could not be simpler. And this is a great lesson for all of us that just put too much time into our landing pages to begin with instead of just launching the idea, sending it out to people, to influencers, to potential users, and getting it in the hands of your customers. That should be your number one priority, not how pretty your store looks. Um, this is super simple. It's really well done, I would say, even though it is simple, because they have a video, they have some you know, UGC here, some authority uh, by having actual people using the product, some more videos, and then even some uh, authority publications and stuff like that and then they have you know just some training videos it's really cool actually they've done really really well this is super well done and then some amazing reviews so people actually love this product even though it's kind of silly this was actually posted in the Akemi lab which is our e-commerce information alpha community that's what I would call it um, where was it it was actually here in business ideas or no in store reviews we posted it right here. So um, this was from uh, about a month ago, but I forgot to make a video about it. And I don't show every single trend in here because people are paying to be a part of this group. Uh, but obviously it doesn't really matter. I wanna share as much information as I can here on YouTube. But as, as Tariq here, our researcher, he's our main researcher, he said the website is shit, but you can scale it way more with better branding and a better website. Um, and it solves a, a problem in a very unique way. So this is how we found out the estimate as well. We use, um, what is this called? Trend Rocket. This is Davey's uh, tool. And we use a lot of different research tools at a chemi lab and basically condense it all down to, you know, just a $50 a month subscription on Discord. It's actually pretty cool. So make sure you check it out. I would love to have you join. But let's dive into how they're actually getting their sales because the main way that they're getting their sales and by the way you don't need any paid tools to do this is through facebook ads so we're gonna uh, we're gonna actually study their facebook ads quick and break them down and see exactly what they're running because ultimately i shared in a recent video sort of the structure that you should be running for meta ads one of the simplest structures out there that's really going to allow you to scale and put a bigger emphasis on other areas of the business as opposed to just managing your ads and this is what we do at akemi my agency and what you can do is go to the about page of someone's fitness or sorry, someone's Facebook page. And then you click see all here and then you go to add library at the bottom. I've, I've already done this. So I got this pulled up. And as you see, they have 150 different search results. So these guys are running heavy, heavy meta ads right now. And what they're doing is they're using basically all of their organic content, all of their UGC content and running the same caption, which is kind of silly, uh, but I guess caption doesn't move the needle the most. So they're just kind of going with the authority of Joe Rogan. It's dope, dude. It's really dope. I love it. I'll hold on to a chin up bar and like do leg lifts with it. That's actually great. That's actually genius. You know, build your leg muscle and core from the comfort of your home with monkey feet. 
Um, super clean marketing and then they're just testing a ton of different videos almost all of them being story format videos or real format videos which is really noteworthy because a lot of people still don't create this kind of content even though it's one of the best placements right now on the meta platform and the reason why it's one of the best is because it gets lower um, CPMs usually because people are viewing them through stories and through the reels but then also what's great about them is that you can repurpose them for YouTube shorts. You can repurpose them for TikToks and run TikTok ads as well. So maybe if you have a TikTok shop, you can use these same ads back and forth and save a ton of money and it's awesome. So that's what they're doing. They're running all these different UGC ads. They're all probably different hooks. Um, you know, this one's like a slow-mo video. This one's another slow-mo kind of video, but with a 15% off. So these are probably more middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. And that's what's great about Meta is that, you know, when you just dump all these ads in there, Meta will show it to the right person at the right time in their buying journey. So somebody may have already been aware of the brand and, you know, they'll show them a specific ad that is more bottom of the funnel intended. So maybe with some discounts, maybe with some trust badges, maybe with some testimonials, something like that to really push somebody over the edge to actually make that purchase. And unfortunately, Meta doesn't track the best these days, but that's fine. I still think just the best way to approach it is like, okay, how much did you spend today? How much did we make back on the store? And if you make back three times what you spent, even if Facebook's only tracking like two, then you're good. Keep spending. That may not be the most professional way to approach it, but I think people overthink it too much sometimes. So yeah, they got a lot of different content. It's actually really insane how much they're testing, but this works. I mean, personally, I think this is almost like too much testing, but their traffic doesn't lie. They're definitely scaling up right now. And similar web is showing us that, you know, they're at like 39 K visitors, but I think this is inaccurate. What we can say for sure though, is that their traffic is becoming higher and higher. So that's great news for them uh, and whatever they're doing is right. So obviously continue to double down on meta ads. That's what I would say as advice for this brand. You know, I'm working with a lot of brands at this level, 500K to a million a month. Um, and this is kind of what it's all about. It's really determining what we can do to continue to scale, which usually involves more variety in the content. And then having this type of content is great because they can just repost it everywhere. So they can also get a ton of organic sales through do doing that. Um, and they could even just hire reposters, like people to make their own pages, uh, reposting all this content to like really blow it up even more. So many cool strategies these days to grow. It's really the best time to be an e-commerce business in my opinion, or really any business, because you could apply this to any business. You could apply this to an app. You could apply this to an agency. You could apply this to a you know landscaping business really anything, uh, just literally the same exact structure, but instead of optimizing for purchase and a shop now button, you would do, you would optimize for leads and you'd do a sign up button or a learn more button. But that's, what's really cool about meta ads. You know, you're kind of letting the machine do the work. You just have to think more about the strategy and about how to make everything grow with meta. And that's basically what people pay us for. Uh, these days, which is amazing. It's honestly my favorite business that I have right now, along with the Kemi Lab, the Discord, because that one's just like such a fun community. And I've met some killers in there. There's people in there doing 80K months profit off of just organic. So we're learning a lot through all the community members and all the information alpha that we drop from the research. Um, and that's really about it for this video. Just wanted to share this interesting store and also talk a little bit about it, Kemi Lab, because I really want to get some some more of you guys to join some of you that are really serious about joining it, an e-commerce incubator. There's nothing really like it out there, truly. And, you know, there's obviously a lot of discords out there, but none like a Kemi Lab. I guarantee you that. So that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.